Republic of Congo Presidency Office says preparations for the vote will still go ahead as planned on the 23rd of December, despite a major fire at that destroyed an election warehouse. That's despite a fire last night at a warehouse in Congo's capital, Kinshasa, which destroyed thousands of voting machines and ballot boxes that were due to be used in the December 23rd presidential election. The fire destroyed 70% of the equipment due to be used for voting in Kinshasa, where more than 15% of the DRC's population lives. The vote to replace President Joseph Kabila in power since 2001 was initially due to take place in 2016, but has been repeatedly delayed due to logistical and security problems. This is the aftermath of a fire in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has destroyed thousands of voting machines and ballot boxes. They were due to be used in the country's long-delayed presidential election on December 23rd. The president's chief diplomatic advisor blamed the warehouse blaze on criminals, also confirming that police who had been guarding the warehouse had been arrested. The fires thought to have destroyed about 7,000 of the 10,000 voting machines due to be used in Kinshasa. But preparations for the election are continuing regardless and voting machines from elsewhere in the country will be recalled for use in the capital, which is home to more than 15% of the population. As far as the equipment is concerned, we estimate for now that nearly 8,000 voting machines out of the 10,368 which were due to be used in Kinshasa have been destroyed. 3,774 voting booths out of the plant 8,887, 800 new motorcycles and 15 vehicles and nearly 900 external batteries have all been destroyed. This month's highly anticipated vote could mark Congo's first peaceful transition of power. Current President Joseph Kabila is due to step down because of constitutional term limits. But the vote had already been delayed by two years due to what authorities said were logistical challenges. The uh, warehouse was burned. Uh, basically, inside the warehouse, uh, we, they had the materials that they did for, for Kinshasa. But there, there have been contingency plans because not all the materials were kept in the same warehouse. So there's a contingency plan that so we... The Electoral Commission uh, had uh, a replacement materials uh, to, 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 to replace those that had burned. So the elections would take place as a planned on the 23rd of December in spite of this fire. The introduction of the untested tablet-like voting machines for the election has been widely opposed by many. Those competing against Kabila's preferred successor, former Interior Minister Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari, have been particularly vocal. They say the machines are more vulnerable to vote rigging than paper and ink and could be compromised by the unreliability of Congo's power supply. The government and opposition have traded accusations that the other side is trying to undermine the vote. Kabila's camp say the opposition is not prepared for the vote and looking for excuses to delay it. The violence is taking place uh, as we speak. As we speak, things are under control. The, most of the country uh, is, uh, is peaceful. But we are aware there are some elements that uh, would not like to see these elections to take place, uh, uh, mainly because they are not prepared to go to elections. So the, the best thing for them is to make sure these elections don't take place. But the government is, uh, is committed uh, to have elections because we have no choice. We have to have those elections, as you uh, rightly reported, so we can have a peaceful transfer of power. So everything is in place uh, to reach that objective. His opponents accused the president of looking for further excuses to hold on to power. The delay in the elections has coincided with a breakdown in security across much of the vast mineral-rich country, and there are fears violence could increase as the election day approaches. Well, for more on this story, we joined in studio by Nono Landu. He is the Southern African Presidential Campaign Director for the Democratic Republic of Congo Opposition Presidential Candidate, Martin Fayulu. Uh, Mr. Landu, thank you so much for joining us. A warm welcome to, to the Global SAPC. Thank you. Now, the 
The UPDS uh, now blames the ruling party for the fire that occurred at the Seni uh, electoral warehouse. Do you? Yeah, and uh, let me say that it's quite ridiculous what I've been, I, I just heard from uh, Ambassador Poco. Because uh, we at the opposition know that uh, what's happening is quite uh, an inside job done by authorities and uh, the electoral commission to blame opposition and uh, to seek some, some, some way to prevent other candidates, especially ours, Martin Fayulu, from uh, running. Because, you know, it was undermined uh, uh, from the beginning. They didn't think it would uh, have such a huge impact in terms of popularity that was uh, demonstrated uh, those uh, few days while campaigning in uh, Eastern DRC with a tremendous uh, crowd uh, following him. And uh, let us say, <laughs> we, it, it has been so far the de dead deadiest uh, electoral campaign uh, f in our history because we have uh, six, uh, six, six of our supporters killed by the power. And now with this uh, fire story, we know it uh, for sure some inside uh, job for them to blame our candidate Mr. and Blatt, find it's quite interesting that you're saying that you know that is actually the ruling party which is responsible for this fire but you've got no evidence to back it up let me put it clear for people who know kinshasa that warehouse is located in one of the safest area in the capital city let me give you some example it's just 10 meters from the biggest Congolese military camps. That warehouse is, uh, the, the Kankokolo as it's called, it's uh, 200 meters from the Congolese army headquarters. That warehouse is uh, some step away from uh, the, the fire brigade. Then we can't just assume uh, normal uh, people going that uh, s such uh, facility who are under su uh, surveillance 24-7 to start a fire. They did uh, that, uh, all, uh, all that uh, comedy in, uh, to, to blame the opposition, as I said. Uh, you can see by those footage that uh, fresh wooden pallet next to a burning car. How can you explain a car uh, being burnt, but wood <laughs> doesn't get burnt. They, they didn't uh, work properly on that comedy, and it shows up some, some, some evidence link. And we're asking, let them show us those electronic voting machines remain. Because if your computer gets burnt, we can at least see uh, uh, some remains. But they wouldn't allow nobody, journalists or uh, the press, to get in the warehouse and uh, uh, to, to verify those allegations. It's just some amateur uh, scenario, and uh, we at the opposition know for sure it's uh, to, to try to destabilize our uh, candidate who's the, the, the strongest on the ground, it has been shown, with the, the support, with those big guns like Moise Katumbi and Jean-Pierre Mbemba, is now credited like with about 85% as much as the electorate. In as much as you're placing the blame squarely on the shoulders of uh, President Joseph Kabila and the ruling party, let's not forget that early this month, uh, your leader, Mr. Martin Fayulu, told his supporters and sympathizers to destroy electoral material. Those are, are not uh, truth allegations. They have been like uh, changed uh, by those uh, uh, people, th those Kabila's people. He was just asking for the people when in the voting station to ask for paper and not use. What did you mean by that then? Our fight is against the use, uh, since the beginning, the use of uh, that electronic voting machine, which is anti-constitutional. 
We want the, those, uh, those I mean, elections. He said electoral material should be uh, destroyed. No, it, well, what did he, he, didn't, he, he didn't make such a statement. I can testify. We've got footage fr uh, of uh, all of his meeting. He only asks the people, the voters, to request for papers. Only that, for papers so they can vote. For them to make a statement about rejecting that the, the use of that machine, and you know, and uh, let me say it again, he has uh, he has been having so far the most spectacular uh, campaign rally, starting by Bunya, Butembo, Kisangani, Goma, and has been prevented yesterday to go from Kalemi to Kolwezi, where people was waiting for him, because the, the, the Kabila and his camp can't face that, uh, that rise, uh, rise of uh, uh, this leader they, they, they was thinking was uh, a, a small gun, but you know, uh, things change. They, are, they, 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 they have now uh, put that, uh, that, that strategy to, to, to try prevent him from running as they did for Moïse Katumbi and uh, Jean-Pierre Mbemba. Therefore, this uh, shameful and ridiculous uh, scenario of fire, that, that is not true. How come a warehouse next to the Congolese army headquarters yeah. being uh, attacked like that without any like, uh, uh, camera uh, filming the, 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 the culprit? And this, uh, <laughs> this footage, we can see it Okay. A thousand times, a, a fresh wood not, uh, not be burning beside of a car burning. And let yeah. me... Uh, now speaking speak of, yeah, speaking, let's now go back to the issue of the voting machines. The opposition movement, including ourselves, uh, fear that, uh, or rather, uh, yeah, they do fear that the use of these machines may be impractical in such a huge country which has got transport logistics and security concerns. But the Electoral Commission says that, uh, no, it actually cuts costs and, um, and, you know, speeds up vote counting. Why are you so much against these machines? We are, we, we are from a country where most of the people are uneducated, especially in rural area. We've got serious problem of uh, power supply. How are they? Uh, you hardly uh, spend one day in your home in DRC with, uh, with the power 24-7. Uh, 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 and uh, the, 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 voting, um, uh, the, the, the voting office will need power. We need uh, like a permanent uh, supply of power in order for those machines to, to, to work. Besides of uh, most of the people being uneducated, most of our uh, like uh, rural uh, supporters will have for the first time of their lives ever facing an, a, a digital screen. It, it will be the first time then they, they will be just uh, uh, lost and uh, b b by that fact, those people, those uh, uh, electoral uh, uh, commission people will just vote for them okay. uh, and uh, you know what will happen next. And <laughs> uh, let me tell you uh, and be serious. Do you know how <laughs> until now those machines are being uh, taken to the voting uh, uh, the voting office on bicycles and motorcycles. No helicopters, they, 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 they were showing, showing off to just lie to the international community because they refused any help from, uh, from uh, the international co community to organize those elect self-made elections by they themselves. They use bicycles to transport they the voting machines? They use bicycles to transport uh, uh, those electronic voting machines and you know how a computer can be sensitive and the road in the DRC and most of those machines didn't get to, uh, to, to all the, 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 the voting station. That is a problem. The Electoral Commission is not ready to organize those elections. Therefore, those, uh, all those uh, circus and uh, to, 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 to try uh, put the blame on the opposition with this uh, ridiculous fire ever in the history of fire. Mr. Nlandu, I wish we had uh, all night to discuss this matter, but then thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate your time. I thank you.
All right, that is uh, Mr. Nonan Landu. He is the campaign director for Southern Africa uh, for one of the presidential candidates in the DRC, uh, Mr. Barten Fayulu. This is the Global SAPC News. Let's take a short break.